This site, when we first came here, consisted of very large heaps of human remains, clothes, skulls, bones, and a half-built memorial site. It was only seven years after the genocide that the burial site was being formed here on the hillside in Kigali. The Aegis Trust was born out of the whole experience of the Holocaust Center in the UK. So we were familiar with the importance of memorials and memory. Our objectives when we developed the concept was to create a place to remember our beloved relatives to pay tribute and to a place where people will understand the impact of what's happened to never repeat it uh, in the future. I was going to go to visit to Nottingham. I saw Bef Shalom Museum and I was going to say why not do a contract with them. At that moment, I didn't have any money, but I was going to say that I was going to find money. And then in the memorandum, we had put that together, the registration of the city of Tigali, we will mobilize the money. We constructed this place that you see in slightly less than three months. We had a very tight deadline. We had no funds available when we started the project. So not only did we have a very scientific challenge, but we also had a, a challenge from a logistical aspect. And the whole thing was exhausted because we had spent a couple of sleepless nights towards the end of the event. But as soon as I got in, it was like a booster. You could actually feel it and see in people's face that, that, that you actually contributed to something. This museum is neither permanent nor static. It's a dynamic conversation between this community and that building. And what will happen is, I would hope, when we come back after 15 years after the genocide, 20 years after the genocide, if you find the same museum there, I shall be very disappointed. can tell uh, without any doubt what happened later on uh, was beyond our expectations. Today uh, every visitor wants to come to, to, to visit and I'm happy to have participated with many other people to have created a landmark uh, in Kigali uh, and even for Rwanda. What is quite unique about the Kigali Genocide Memorial is that it's not only about remembering the past, but it's very intentionally developing programs to help bring people together in that second generation to overcome divisions and mistrust in communities. And as such, it's becoming a tool for the prevention of violence and atrocities and helping to create resilience against genocide. 10 years ago when we opened it, we really didn't know what the future of this place would be. And so to come back here today and to see the vibrancy of this institution here and it's achieving those aims of commemoration and dignity and education and reaching out to the wider world and giving that very powerful message of prevention in the face of our failure in the past is a very powerful thing indeed.